tau overflows mind divides for clarity every moment there is death and life happening to you and both are functioning simultaneously in language i have to call them both two they are not two instead they are two aspects of one phenomena life and death are one life death is a process but mind divides that division looks okay for us but that division is false you say this is light and that is dark you divide but where does darkness start and when and where does light end can you demarcate them you cannot draw a clear cut line for demarcation actually whiteness and blackness are two poles of a long greenness actually whiteness and blackness are two poles of a long greenness and that greenness is life on one pole blackness appears on another pole whiteness appears but the reality is gray and that gray contains both in itself gray is a combination of black and white so life is that grayness mind divides and then everything looks clear cut life is very confusing that is why life is a mystery and because of this mind cannot understand life it is helpful to create clear cut concepts you can think easily and conveniently but you miss the very reality or the essence of life life is a mystery and mind demystifies everything then you have dead fragments not the whole with the mind you will not be able to conceive of how enlightenment is certain how you will disappear and something new will be there which you had never known before this is what happened when gautam went to his father his father was still seeing siddharth in gautam and when gautam told father i am not your son siddharth your son your son has died long ago and the one who is now standing in front of you is a different person gautam buddha his father could not see sid beyond siddharth this is how it is you are not that which came to me but do you but do not carry do not try to understand it through the mind what has happened to you you cannot understand through the mind what is happening to you you cannot understand through the mind rather practice something which will make you more and more not means what you knew yourself by pouring flowing more and more into that flow you will realize what you were before meeting is getting less and less something new is evolving out of that no words can explain that yet still there is a deep feeling that alone can 
give you satiation a fulfillment of enormous proportions try to attain some fire which will make you more and more hot and then one day suddenly you will know that the old has disappeared completely your energy has started evaporating the more the more you create the energy of understanding of love you will find your energy is beginning to gain more and more heat and one day suddenly they will start evaporating and then one day suddenly you will know the old has completely disappeared now and then is still the old surfaces and the water is no more the water that you had known was flowing through you is no more this is a new phenomenon you have evaporated the process has already begun the process of your evaporation has already begun and everything has changed totally water was always flowing downwards and after evaporation the new phenomena is rising upward the whole law has changed you have heard about one law newton's law of gravitation which says that earth attracts everything downwards this is what the energy of sex is but the law of gravity is only one law there is another law you may not have heard about it because science has yet to uncover it but yoga and tantra have known it for centuries they call it levitation gravity is pull downward and levitation is pull upwards when your energy is beginning to be pulled upwards or taking you to a higher then you are under the gravitational the under the pull of levitation the story is how the law of gravity was discovered is well known newton was sitting under a tree under an apple tree and then suddenly an apple fell down because of this he started thinking and he felt that something is pulling the apple downwards both tantra and yoga ask how did the apple reach upward in the first place how that must be explained first before it could be said that the apple was pulled towards the earth how apple reach upwards position how the tree is going up growing upward the apple was not there it was hidden in a seed and then apple travel the whole journey it reached the upward position and only then did it fall down isn't it so so gravity is the second law levitation was there even before gravity was discovered this was the understanding of the mystics and masters for centuries something was pulling the apple upward what was that there is something that pulling you upward pulling your energy upward what is that have you ever discovered have you ever introspected what is that pulling you that fruition pulling upward in life we easily know gravity because we are pulled downwards the water flows downwards it is under the law of gravity when it evaporates suddenly the law also evaporated now it is under levitation 
it is rising upward. Ignorance is under the law of gravity. You always move downwards and whatsoever you do makes no difference. You have to move downwards in every way. You have to move downwards and struggle alone will not be of much help unless you enter the enter a different law the law of levitation the law of levitation that is what samadhi is that is what is the door for levitation samadhi is the door deep meditation is the door for levitation at times you enter into that state of samadhi meditative repertoire and the door for levitation opens in deep love you attain to a state of samadhi and door for levitation opens once you ev evaporate once you are no more water everything changes it is not that you it is not that now you can control there is no need to control you simply cannot flow downwards as it was impossible before for you to rise upward now it is impossible for you to flow downwards it is not that a buddha tries to be non violent he cannot do otherwise it is not that you are forcing you to act right or flow this way you cannot do any other way it is not that he tries to be loving he cannot do otherwise he has to be loving that is not a choice not an effort not any cultivated virtue it's it is simply that now it is the law he rises upwards hate is under the law of gravity love is under levitation love is the energy of levitation and hate is the law of gravity this sudden transformation does not mean that you are not to do anything and that you are simply to wait for the sudden transformation then it will never come this is the puzzle when i say or someone else says that enlightenment is sudden you think that it is sudden nothing can be done that we must simply that we must sim simply wait when it will happen it will happen so what can you do if it is a gradu it is a gradual process you can do something if it is a gradual process you can do something what is happening to you in different forms is that a new door has opened for you the door for levitation enough